All right, back to our local breaking news tonight where far left Antifa and anarchist demonstrators are in the streets of Portland causing damage. And so let's check back in with our Jennifer Dowling about 30 minutes after her live shot a while ago. Jennifer, you've been following along with this group. Tell us where you're at now compared to 30 minutes ago and what's the latest? I have Liz and Dan, and you can see behind me that we have a traffic stop underway. Portland police have stopped a truck that was rolling along uh, with the marchers earlier this afternoon. Uh, people are being searched and detained. We don't know if these are going to result in any arrests, this particular stop. Uh, but certainly police are searching that vehicle and have separated those inside the passenger. A couple people in the bed of the truck and the driver, we saw them all searched and kind of separated. Now they're sitting and waiting, uh, I guess, for police to make a determination on what they want to do here. Uh, Portland police have also uh, issued a statement out, especially addressing some vandalism. We saw the Democratic Party headquarters in Northeast Portland uh, windows shattered. We have some video of that. Also the frame uh, bent right out of the window, uh, glass pane on the door shattered as well uh, with people attacking that building earlier in the afternoon. Uh, Sergeant Kevin Allen saying that there were at least four planned events and protests or demonstrations this afternoon and evening. Uh, this is the only one so far that we believe has gotten uh, aggressive or has caused some damage to the community. Uh, they said that folks started at Revolution Hall in this particular group at around 2 o'clock and then they began marching through uh, southeast and into northeast Portland toward the Democratic Party, Party headquarters. Uh, at around 2.45, uh, Sergeant Allen says officers on bicycles entered the crowd uh, to try to talk to at least one person with a weapon. This is according to police and to remove metal poles affixed to a banner. Uh, Allen says officers were concerned the polls would be used to hurt someone or used in a criminal manner. As they tried to disengage the crowd, the police say showed aggression by swarming officers and throwing objects. It goes on to say officers deployed one smoke canister to allow for officers to leave safely. They said they did that at around 2.55. So now it looks like they're making traffic stops and they're following the group as it has marched. Uh, we've heard from one of our other colleagues that it may have broken up a bit. And we may have smaller groups uh, remaining from this other group that marched through uh, northeast and southeast Portland earlier. So we continue to follow uh, what's going on. Uh, we also have some people who have showed up at this police line as they uh, protect the sidewalk around this traffic stop. Again, we're still needing to learn more about what that's all about. But uh, lots of folks here kind of confronting officers uh, about uh, perhaps this traffic stop or just about the protest in general, which uh, this group made clear online that they were anti-police and uh, that was reflected in some of the chants that they were uh, shouting earlier in the afternoon. So we're going to continue to keep an eye on this as we learn more about it. And uh, we'll bring you any updates here and at coin.com. And also you can check out our social media sites as well. I'll toss it back to you in the studio. All right, Jen, and you've covered uh, similar demonstrations for us for months. What's notably different, one thing is that this is happening during daytime and not at night as we've often seen. We'll check back with you later. Thank you.